Okay, so the first one, which I did do a short video on already, is called Shade and Water. These are all 48 by 72, and they're done in oil painting and layers and layers of building up the images. And so here it's as if you were there on your sort of hands and knees near the water, looking at all the glorious and strange uh, plants that are growing up. Now I'm going to take you right round to the children's garden. But this, I also wanted this to be on a level like a child crawling around, exploring their environment. So here we have some more strange plants, but there's more sunlight coming through. And we have here, of course, the beautiful sunflowers, and as we know, all of us kind of like sunflowers, so that wasn't a difficult one to pick. But the rest are sort of imaginative strange little shapes, but there's also lots of fruit to eat. You can see the grapes and perhaps a few pomegranates and of course some blue and purple flowers, usually children's most favorite color. And a little stream running through with lots of little fish in it, just enough to spark your interest and your wonder. But the one I really want to spend some time on today is the final one that I've completed so far in this series, and that is called rainfall on the celestial canyons. For this one, I try to imagine what it was like, instead of going into the undergrowth, to step back and see things from a great vista away. And so we have the skies leaking, as it were, crying their tears of rain down on the, on the strange shapes of the canyons below. And to capture this essence of the rain coming down, I use sort of uh, translucent paint with some mica in it, which helps to refract light and gives a sense of shining. And it's as if the, the sky and the clouds are leaking rain, soft rain falling on the canyons. And as they fall, just as in a desert when the desert's watered, things start to change to green. pools of river and overflowing waters. Everything becomes more lush. Now, I don't know about you, but nobody knows what a celestial canyon looks like. So in a sense, the sky is the limit, and it really was here. I just decided to make as many interesting shapes down here on the ground of the canyons, and then see them melt away under the power of the rain. Gardens of Eternity, rainfall on the celestial canyon. 